Welcome back coders. Today's topic is the one of the most important and commonly asked DSA problem, reverse and array. We officially started our first real DSA problem, reverse and array. So understand the array basics. So let's quickly revise what is an array. So array is nothing but a list of element stored in a continuous memory block. Let's take an example, array. We have a array word which have a elements like one two three four and five array the size of this array is a five right array values are stored always stored based on the indexes right so our uh, and the index always start from zero one two three four likewise right so how to calculate the last index of this array so can I say the size of this array minus one will get, you know, last index of array. Let's say my size, now the, this current array size is a five. If I have a size of n elements, then what will be the starting position, starting index of this array is always zero, right? And what is the last index of this array? Always. So we can say like L minus one. So now come to the our problem statement. Now our task is to reverse an array. So this is the our original array which contains one, two, three, four, five, five elements. And expected output should be like reverse order of this array. Five, four, three, two, and one. And index is one, two, three, four. Remember, we just not we are not just printing the reverse order we need to actually changing the positions positions right positions of the element inside the array so uh, any solution in your mind many of the beginners they are thinking we are just uh, write the for loop and iterate this array in the reverse order like integer i will start n minus 1 till 0 index and i'll print but this is the wrong approach right we no need to just print it. We need to, you know, actually reverse an element in the memory. This is our task. Let's take an example. Real-time example. Bus. There are five seats uh, in the bus. And the seat number is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, and the passengers are sitting like passenger 1, passenger 2, passenger 3, passenger 4 and passenger 5. Now, if we want to reverse this position, so person on the seat number 0, the person on the seat number 0, we need to swap with the seat number 4, right? Right? Similarly, the person which is on seat number 1, on seat number 1, they need to swap with number uh, seat number 3, right? Similarly, so on. If you remember for our last video, we learned how to swap a two variables using the third uh, third variable, right? Uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, uh, taken the example of x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 10 and then we have used the temp variable, right? The same thing uh, we can apply, so the same concept we are applying here. Now, this element, let's say uh, this zeroth position, I say it's as a x and the last position I will say as a y. So x is always 0 and y is always size minus 1. Right? Instead of x and y, I'll give a meaningful name. Instead of x, I, I will give as a low and instead of y, I give as a high. <clears throat> Okay, now, now we need to just swap low with the high, you know, using third variable. How we can do? We are just, we want to just swap uh, this x or low with the high. After the swapping, we need to increment the low or the, we need to move for the next element, uh, next element, right? So now my low will be here and the high will be here. Now again, we need to apply the swapping libraries. Similarly, we need to again, after this swapping is done, we need to again increment the low and decrement the high. 
until we will get a reverse order. Right. So let us write the pseudo for this in a Java integer low is equal to 0 and high is equal to n minus 1. Right. We need to do the swapping. Right. Till my low is less than high. We are doing the swapping using the third variable. Let us declare the temporary variable. Assigning the value of a low, array of a low, and array of a low is equal to array of high. And again, array of high is equal to TMP. Right? We are just, this is the logic for swapping the two variables. Right? Now, this is our array 0 and, and the fourth position. We are just to swap this position. But after the swapping, we need to increment, we need to move to the next from low and right. So we are just increment the low by one element. And we need to decrement the high by one. So don't you think this will work for us? Can you try this solution? Can you go to the Google and search G4G? Reverse and array practice. We will share this link in our description box. Uh, so let us write our code here. Integer low is equal to 0 and high is our n minus 1. So what is n? n is nothing but our array dot length. Right? Now we just need to do the swapping. While low is less than high. Initialize the temporary variable tmp is equal to array of low. Array of low is equal to array of high. And finally, array of high is equal to tmp. Just increment the low by 1 and decrement the high by 1. That is it. Compile it. It is getting the error. Oh, low. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. Instead of semicolon, we need to give a comma. Yeah. It compiled successfully. Let us submit it for other test cases. Yes, we all the test cases are got passed, right? That's it from my end. Thank you for watching coders. I will see you in the next lecture of DSA weekly series. Until then, keep learning, keep coding.